And good evening, everyone. We're beginning tonight with late news from Los Angeles. The L.A. Times is reporting that pop star Michael Jackson has died. Paramedics had been called to his home today. They found him in cardiac arrest, not breathing, and rushed him to the hospital. Bill Whitaker is in Los Angeles with the very latest. Bill, what can you tell us? Katie, startling news here this evening. As you were saying, the L.A. paramedics got a 911 call at about 1221 this afternoon from Michael Jackson's posh house in Bel Air. They rushed to the house and found him in cardiac arrest, not breathing. They took him by ambulance to the nearby UCLA Medical Center, where shortly after his arrival, it was announced that he was in a coma. His family members rushed to be by his side. But just a short while ago, at 3.15 Pacific time, Michael Jackson, the king of pop, was pronounced dead. Katie? Bill Whitaker in Los Angeles. Bill, thank you very much. Michael Jackson had an extraordinary career and a troubled life marked by incredible highs and terrible lows. Once again, here's Bill Whitaker. Michael Jackson always said he identified most with Peter Pan, the boy who never grew up. Jackson was the boy who burst onto the music scene with his brothers in the 1960s. The Jackson 5 quickly went from their hometown of Gary, Indiana to the top of the charts. By about age 11, he was the most popular member, but he left the group in his 20s to moonwalk his way to superstardom, becoming one of the most popular people on the planet. Jackson's 1982 album, Thriller, still is the top-selling album of all time worldwide. And Michael Jackson was the top performer in the world through much of the 1980s. But somewhere along the way, Jackson went from the king of pop to wacko jacko. Some say it started with an accident during the filming of a TV commercial that burned his scalp severely and led to a dependence on prescription painkillers. He became an increasingly reclusive and odd figure, married briefly to Elvis Presley's daughter, then to his skin doctor's assistant. A father of three, despite ongoing speculation that they could not be his natural children, he sparked one of his many scandals when he dangled one of the children over a balcony causing concern of his parenting skills. All of those scandals paled to the ongoing suspicion of child abuse. He paid one boy more than $20 million to make his allegations go away. But it happened again one day in November 2003. Within a very short period of time, there will be charges filed against Mr. Jackson. Multiple counts. The charges stemmed from this documentary in which Jackson stated again his belief that having young boys in his bed was completely natural. It's very right. It's very loving. That's what the world needs now. Much of the world saw it differently. Jackson was arrested, handcuffed, booked, and eventually stood trial. The court case was a surreal spectacle befitting Jackson's bizarre way of life including dancing on top of SUVs, pajamas worn to court, and a string of celebrities walking in and out of the courthouse in Santa Maria, California. Please keep an open mind and let me have my day in court. But the inconsistent testimony from the boy and his family members, including a truly bizarre five days on the stand from the boy's mother, convinced the jury Jackson was not guilty. Still, the acquittal never completely put to rest the questions surrounding Michael Jackson. A curious figure who leaves behind a legacy of staggering musical genius and stunningly bad judgment. A master of memorable performances and a man whose real life remains a mystery. Michael Jackson also leaves legions of fans with an ongoing fascination with the one time, and some would say forever, king of pop. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.